In this lecture, we will add a new page with the same structure as this about page. In this about page, we see two blocks side by side. One with a circular image on the left, and another on the right with a heading and paragraph block one after another. Let's add a new page and see how to design this kind of block. I will give the title, About Us. In the content area, I add a group block. Those side-by-side -side blocks will be inside this group. Group is for combining more blocks as one block. So you can move around those blocks as one, or apply some common styles like a border around all those blocks. Inside this group block, I will add a column block. I want equal space on the left and right, so I choose a 50-50 variation. Now I have two areas inside the group. On the left will be the image block, and on the right will be the texts block. On the left, I click on the add block and search for the image. Let's upload an image from computer. We want a rounded image. Let's select rounded from styles. Now let's add heading and paragraph block on the right. To add heading block, search for heading and select heading, then type in the heading. Paragraph is the default block, so just typing in on another block will make it a paragraph. After adding all the necessary blocks, click on the outline button. Here you see everything is under group, and click the column on this list. Column is selected in the content area as you see the blue border around it. Our rounded image is different from the one we have seen in the about page. Here you see it is a proper circle. To understand why this image is circular, you have to expand the advanced section in the right side settings. Scroll down, and at the bottom you will see an input box for additional CSS class. This, is style circle mask CSS class makes the image circular. So I copy this CSS class, and head over to the image we added in our page. With the image block selected, I will paste that CSS class to the same location. I scroll to the bottom and replace with the copied one. As soon as I replace the class, the image becomes circular. If you know nothing about CSS, do not worry about this copy-paste of CSS class. This is about controlling look and feel, not directly related to dashboard editing. Let's have a look again in the block structure, click the outline button. This heading and paragraph block is not grouped together. So now we will see how we can group this together. To achieve the side-by-side -side layout, grouping is not necessary. This is just to show how multiple blocks can be grouped as one, and how to do that with already added blocks. I select the heading, and insert a block before that to make room for the group block. Then I added a group block here. Now we can drag this heading and paragraph block to the group block. I select the heading, and use the drag icon to drag it to the group. For the paragraph, I do the same. If you check the block structure now, you can see the heading and paragraph are inside a group. Click on the group, and you see a border around the heading and paragraph. Now this new About Us page has content side by side, using group and columns block. Practice with other column blocks variations, like 7030 or equally spaced 33. This is a very flexible technique in the Gutenberg editor to put content side by side. Let's proceed to the next lecture.